Hi Taurus, welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Taurus Sun, Moon, or Rising. Welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with a Taurus message, could be for you. Take it however resonates. Uh, keep in mind these are general and timeless readings. All the information down below in the, the description box. So, website link, you guys can sign up for my courses if you would like, and my Instagram. You can also follow me over there if you would like that. All that is down below. And thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing. Thank you for all of the ways that you've supported the channel. Let's dive in. What? Um, oh yes, and Happy New Year. We are now in 2023. Wow, that... What an interesting time to be alive. All right. We have, all right, um, you have this repetitive energy, everydayness, but this seems quite, I don't know, maybe you feel restricted by it, but it's the box, see that? That's a mental construct, so this can be it's something psychological, so this is maybe some kind of boundary in your internal energy and i do feel like beyond that there's something hidden okay it feels like to me that you're just in this everydayness things are the same it's, it's just like that's kind of what you're encompassed in at this time you um this is like the same things over and over again is what i almost want to say but there's something hidden I don't know what that is. It could be an answer or some, something hidden in the everydayness. Oh, I almost heard like a hidden in plain sight. I don't know what that is. But you could be dealing with a situation that you feel like is because this box could be like a restriction or a boundary or something mentally that you're trying to get past like a mental blockage we all have it but this is a divine intervention card that could be coming in and it could be that if you don't um, maybe discover the hidden, something divine is coming in to come into that situation. So whatever this is, this could be, like I said, it is divine intervention. You and one other sign were the only ones that got this card. So this is like when you feel as though all is lost or you know in this situation something comes in and just interjects into the situation so let's see that is a very weird noise okay ah oh it came in the form of this person okay wow I don't know if you guys specifically are dealing with a Virgo, but you have the Hermit card. This is a person here that has been either at a distance from you or they're either introverted or they just... This person is doing soul searching or this person is like the Hermit energy. So you are coming out as the Two of Swords. You're either in, in indecision about something or avoidance. All right. This is very typical theme that I've been seeing here. So this person could be helping you to uh, help you to look at something that you've been wanting to avoid. It could be something that's accumulated over time. It's going to be different for all of you. It could be a money thing. It could be a health thing. Since the Virgo energy is coming out, it could be about your health and your self-care. I'm just going to throw that out there. Or it is literally your house of second house with finances. So that's what I feel like is coming into your space. This is to help you see something. Because you've been in some kind of mental construct. And there is something that you could have just felt like you were 
like every dayness you were doing something that was not out of the norm or anything. You've just been going along in some kind of process, but something has been hidden here. And now there's this energy coming into the space. It's, it is a literal divine intervention. And this person, it's either a person or energy is going to help you to see something. Look, there's the queen of pentacles. Yeah, look, your cards are coming out. So you have the wise one. That's the higher font, which is Taurus. There you are in the queen of pentacles. So you're like stable, committed, you know, you're involved in some kind of process. And here is the five of wands. Okay. That could be just internal conflict. Some of you guys, it's conflict with another person, but you have the nine of pentacles. That could be about business or independence. Um, some of you guys, it could be career related. So for example, if this is like a boss and you're um, in a certain position here, you feel like you have some level of independence or financial advancement, it's showing me that something is coming in. I don't know if you've got a person here that is jealous of you or Someone might not agree with the way that you are handling things, but we have the Nine of Swords, which it, it's interesting that you have the Nine of Pentacles. You're in this place of, I, some of you guys, you could either be entrepreneurs or you're good at your business, what you do in your career. It's just like there's a person here that could you might feel restless about, even though you're you're good at where you've gotten to in this position, it's just showing that this person, like you could be a little bit stressed or maybe have some anxiety over this person or situation. Oh, everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> Look at that. Every time the temperance comes in, this could have been from Sagittarius season. I do think you have the moon card and then you have the temperance here. I wouldn't get too worried. This can be overthinking stress or like overanalyzing the situation. I do think like there's a person here, really good temperance is like this person is emotionally balanced. They're patient. You could have some kind of connection with this person. This is Pisces Cancer, Sagittarius. Let's see what it's talking. Oh, wow. This person has a lot of love. Look at this. <laughs> wow. See, Taurus, seriously, it's all good. Um, oh, my gosh. Look at it. You have the end or the, the worst is over. It's almost what I want to say. I know we say that a lot as readers, but that's literally what it's showing me. You have a person here that has a lot of love for you. I don't know if you realize that or not. Some of you guys could have family or this is this is either your actual family or it feels like family with the Ten of Cups there. Look at all that. But look at it, all this. You have this. The, the end is over or is someone if someone betrayed you, that ending is over. You have that you're elevating star in the sun card. So I don't know what happened. Okay. Someone could have felt really jealous or envious. You could have, I don't know what it was that, the specifics of it. Someone, there could have been a recent argument. All right. Um, I do think everything is okay. Ten of Cups. There's all this love here. I did you, this is actually really good. I, I know this is causing some conflict and you could be like worried about it. Everything is going to be fine. Watch what lines up here. Because this is all this divine intervention is coming in. And I do think that you're about to calm down in this situation. Because someone is coming in to help you to see wisdom in the situation with the Ten of Swords. It's like you're going to get back to some kind of process or like this could have thrown you off for a bit five of wands with the nine of swords like this could have derailed you a bit because it could have been i don't know maybe it was surprising it could have come out of nowhere 
but it feels like to me also just whatever has been taking place you're about to shift into a completely different energy and it could just be that you're moving your attention over in this direction because some other energy is directed at you to keep you in alignment and also in this energy of love gratitude compassion all these higher vibe energies this person is that okay there's a connection between the two of you with the moon card. You could have grown, this person could have grown an attachment to you or you are attached to them and it keeps you at peace. This person just has, every time I come across this type of person, the temperance, I have, a, I know a person like this and they, being entangled with them is like taking a sedative. I always say this. It's like they just have this calming effect. I think that's going to help you out right now. Because every time you feed into the conflict, it gets worse and it causes some craziness. So I do feel like you're shifting in some way. Also, Taurus, I feel as though... You're in this energy right now where you are approaching the things and taking care of things that you have avoided. So you might be a little bit more about practicality. With, I mean, generally, I would say that it, that is you. But the, some kind of internal conflict could have taken up a lot of your attention and some things got pushed to the back burner. Those are the things that I'm seeing that you're approaching at this time. It could be that you're taking care of your mental health or physical health. I'm just saying it's, it's all about sixth house stuff. So it's like day-to-day -day routines, health routines. That is Virgo and energy. That's what you're moving into. So you're looking at something straight in the eye and being practical about the routines that you need to set in place with yourself. I'm sorry for repeating the message, but that's literally what it's talking about because this, this is a legit divine intervention coming into the situation to help you to see something that you're avoiding or you didn't want to look at it. Something is accumulated here, but it's like time to look at it. Time to approach it. Time to settle in and get something taken care of. Because, like, this is like a thing that you kept imagining the worst. It just needs some kind of practical application or just the focus and your attention on it. And everything will be okay. You'll, you'll dissolve the issue or you'll lessen it. And everything is going to be all right. So any of the conflict that's coming up around you, it was just highlighting that you needed to put your attention on something else. That's what it's highlighting at this time. All this is going to end. Okay. You're going to be fine. Sorry. It's literally like this ending cards. I'm just like, you're fine. Don't worry. Everything is going to work out in your favor. Okay. So just keep focusing on what brings you love, focus on your self-care, get into your routines, just get really entrenched in that process. And I think everything's just going to, you'll see that nat things naturally shift in a positive direction. Okay. So I'll dive into the extended, see whatever else wants to come out. If you guys want to join me over there, feel free, go down below, click on the Vimeo link, see you over there. But Taurus, if this is where we leave things, sending you guys so much love, wishing you all the very best. See you in the next reading. Take care.